hey guys uh how are you doing guys so welcome back to another tutorial so guys um uh in this tutorial i won't be doing any frequency separation or dodge and burn um what i'll do i'll be showing you how to add textures in your photos uh to make them because mostly when you do frequency separation you find that you may lose as many textures as possible like you you flatten your image but uh what we'll do on this image is uh I'll show you how to let's say get the textures back and make sure these poles and this small small the remaining texture of the model skin pop even more so what I'll do is uh, of course I'll duplicate this layer ctrl J and then I'll create an empty layer up here like this uh, just click plus here and here and you will get this um, empty layer what i'll do i'll fill it with a 50 percent gray so edit fill uh 50 percent gray select 50 percent gray and make sure the mode is at normal then say okay waiting for my computer to load of course sorry okay now change the blending mode of this layer to of change the blending mode sorry to overlay like that and now convert right click right here and convert right click on the on the gray layer and convert to smart object uh, of course go to camera row go to filter then camera row filter Uh, you can see on the effects sometimes it looks like this you can see this press this to show the arrow down like this then on the grains push it up like that up to the area that to the level that looks nice for you I, I think I'll zoom this in to see how the texture looks and then on the size of the grain push it up a little bit then on the roughness you have to to, to make sure it looks just the way you want it to look like that's okay then say okay of course again I'm waiting for it to load okay so if you zoom in you can see how your image already looks so what you do uh, go to filter uh, stylize then emboss okay here now you can now if like you have to understand the direction of the light uh, where the light was coming from so you make sure that the, these degrees is the way like the direction where your light was coming from and also now here push this the amount up until you are happy with how the texture of your model skin looks like if i could show you sorry guys sorry sorry i guess i overdid it sorry oh, man. sorry sorry i think i have to redo again go to camera roll camera raw filter sorry i guess my computer is misbehaving sorry about that i'll have to restart it again let's zoom this inside a little bit on the grains and the effects push the grains like this up to that level so on the sides just how you want it say up to that level then say okay this is our image looks then go to our uh, filter uh, stylize then emboss you can see what I did here I really pushed this so high so yeah that's why my image was looking like that sometimes it might misbehave then say okay and so if you can just see before after before after 
uh, okay but you can see it has applied everywhere on our model's image so what you do just press alt in your keyboard and then click th this uh creating layer mask and you'll get this inverted layer already and now you can pick your brush tool right here or just press b in your keyboard and uh, just add textures to the parts of the model skin where you want the textures to be even more feasible. So, so the parts in your model skin where you get where you want your textures to be feasible, just You can also come here on the camera raw filter but click here on the camera raw filter and add the grains even more to make sure it looks even bigger yeah I'll zoom this inside like that just push the roughness up and the size up a little bit like that and say okay it has to load you can see just making the textures on the model skin very visible I don't know if you see before after before after before after you can see the skin the textures of the model skin pops even more so that's how to just recover this is not sharpening guys just to recover the textures in your model skin after you have done frequent separation and then you can now sharpen and make sure you don't over sharpen and your picture will look amazing so that's ju just like let's say how we recover textures in a model skin after we have done frequency separation use this method and trust me you will love it thank you guys that's all for today's video see you in the next video